think the load gets heavy. I just love him. I love him. I love him. I don't know if I've said it enough, so I just want to say I really love Stell. <laughs> To be honest with you, I love all of them. What do I do? Welcome back to my channel, Herrera here. I hope that you are all doing well. So it turns out that SB19 performed five songs at this round festival. Thank you so much, firstly, for making me aware of that. So that is what I'm going to go through in today's video. Please have a look at the description below to see what order I am going through. I have purposely chosen to put this song first because I refuse to be a mess. I am not going to cry at this song. I'm going to enjoy these heavenly live vocals, that golden skin, those outfits. I am so looking forward to this let's go i'm not gonna cry the lyrics aren't here so it's not gonna work mama <laughs> Miss Nakita Sobra Lagi do you know what? I have to pinch myself that I've actually come across a group like this. Oh, I just want to ride this wave of voices forever. I just want to say a massive thank you to everybody in the Philippines and for having standards like this because the rest of the world has just dropped, right? They've dropped off this um, level, this standard. The way that Josh sang rap that with such clarity and meaning and heart, and you've all told me the story, right? So I understand. And then in the background of that, those backing vocals, I mean, all of this is live. And what I love that, yes, they are looking heavenly, um, but none of that distracts from the core of what they are. And that is that sound. Like, I think in this song, I love all of it. But when Josh comes in, it just hits me. And I don't know if it's because my dad, for me, is a soft soft subject. But the way he performs this suddenly makes it really real. Bye. 
each and every one of them. They're so good. This song, the composition, is exactly the definition of parents. I think you try to be strong and you try to act all grown up, but when it comes down to your parents, you can't help but be that little child to feel sensitively about them. And I endeavoured to be really strong and to not break down in that, but I couldn't help it. When that wall of voices hits you you cannot help but open up your heart to them and I just love and adore this song I think this as much as I love Stop Crying I think that this is probably my most favorite song of theirs it just it touches everybody it reaches to all four corners of this planet and I'm just so pleased that these beautiful boys have a song like this and I just wish and pray for them to have all of the success in the entire world. Let's change this mood. I sure do. They're gonna dance in these outfits. I'm not being disrespectful, but did the Korean artists that were a part of this festival sing live? Because I need to know, these boys are singing live and they're dancing, and yeah. <laughs> I didn't even see those tassels on the uh, trousers there. Ooh, the formations. He raps like a beast. so addictive to watch aren't they you just get absolutely glued to the screen like i forget that i've actually pressed play and that i should drool on them a little bit more
all came ready. They honestly came ready and prepared for war <laughs> during these live stages because they are so on point, so strong, you cannot take your eyes away from them. And had I been watching the entire thing, I would definitely be questioning who the hell this boy group were. And yeah, like this was fantastic. I'm so glad that I'm able to watch some live stages of these songs because although I know I was able to include the music video of this song, some of the others I wasn't able to, which is a real shame. I'm still trying to figure out a way of doing it. Um, but if I'm not able to, at least I can react to a couple of of the live stages and share my love for those songs as well because honest to god that last marathon i did of their songs i loved everything and i was shocked a lot it's still coming back to me now how much of an attack this song was <laughs> i was shook when i watched this Oh. I can't decide what I prefer. Do I prefer Pablo as a rapper or as a singer? I can't tell you. <laughs> Wing. Oh. I don't think I'm ever going to be ready for that. Like, it's just shocking how deep his voice is, really. Oh! Would you look at their build? That weight, that height, the stature. Watching them dance is just so delightful. They're really, really strong. <laughs> to be quite honest with you, I can't figure out whether Justin actually is winking at us or if that's just something that he does quite a bit. <laughs> Whatever it is, he's got it down. It's like, I don't know, you're playing a computer game and that freaking boss comes again and you're like, I have to fight this creature all over again. Like, here he comes and there's just no getting away from him. That is what Ken sounds like. You almost just want to roll your eyes because it's so good. It still has my heart. I get cute, cute aggression, but I also get aggression, aggression. The way that when I watch something really good like this, that's powerful and impactful, I literally want to flip the table at which I'm sat, which would probably cause a lot of damage, and I probably will not continue doing that. So I'm just going to take a deep breath, because the way that Ken wrap that with such anger and with that growl, um, while still dancing... <laughs> People don't do that. I am not used to in the K-pop world. 
Will they make you feel really proud? As a Filipino, do you watch these boys, and especially when they do tributes and stuff like this, do you feel proud? Like, because if they were from my country, I think I would just feel incredibly proud. Like my native country, not the country in which I was born and raised in. Um, I think I would, it was a whole different level of connect and feeling of pride um and especially when you're sharing it with somebody else across like the other side of the world um and other people appreciating it, it must make you feel really good right and the thing is it's not doing it because that's what you want to hear or out of i don't know being a sheep or out of pity or anything like that they're actually just really really talented i feel so grateful every time i sit down to watch anything of theirs that i have come across them I'm when I was really apprehensive to move away from K-pop, it's kind of become my safe place. Sing to me. You angel. You angel that looks like an absolute hunk. They put their all into that performance. I am so proud of them. That was stunning. I don't think I'm ever going to be over these visuals. Will they ever be able to top this visual for me? The way that Ken looks so golden like he is made of gold like he is golden man um <laughs> i think the first time i saw him i just fooled them for him but they just look so incredible they were dressed to perfection they had come ready ready to just kill everyone else to eat up this stage and yeah i'm just so pleased that i'm able to sit down and watch these with you I just love him. I love him. I love him. I don't know if I've said it enough, so I just want to say I really love Stell. <laughs> to be honest with you, I love all of them. What do I do? People that cast their doubts on them? Who the hell are these people? Absolute nobodies, probably. What? Are you joking? You did. What a line. I see. That makes me think. Is there one particular religion in the Philippines? Um, because I see references here and there of them being grateful to their friends, family, but also to, the, you know, having a core faith. Uh, seriously, like, I have so many questions and a lot of it is to do with the culture and with the language as well. But I'm just really curious because obviously that having a faith is you have a different focus, a different path in life. Um, and yeah, I'm just really intrigued. Doesn't Justin have a wonderfully universal voice? I feel like he'll be liked by everyone. I love this hair on Pablo. Really? Look at you, look at you. 
The fact that they can get their growls on like that, but then also rap in a normal tone, in a normal speaking tone, and then sing at this angelic level. What the hell? So greedy. <laughs> I mean, even if he didn't have a microphone, I'd probably be able to feel that here. That's a really nice combination. So I've been somewhat used to um, hearing Ken and Stell sing together and them being the powerhouses, but hearing Justin and Stell sing together, very nice. But that, mean, that might just be me playing favorites. And I have no favorites, apart from Stell. <laughs> I just want to say, America is not the be-all, end-all of it, but can we ship them over there just to, like, cause a tremor or something? I know they've been going around doing various things, and they've been recognized as well, um, which is fantastic. But, you know, like, I feel like in the Western world, in the English-speaking music market, um, boy bands have somewhat died down a little bit. That era is on a hiatus, and I think that this is the group to kind of make it happen again, but not just make it happen on the English speaking terms. Like, welcome to our world. Let us show you that we can do this, but on our terms, in our language, with our culture and our background. That is what I love about them. That is a unique selling point. And these boys are fantastic. They deserve the world stage. They deserve stages bigger than this, better than better than this. And what I said very early on in this video, I wish them all the luck, the success. I will be here watching, screaming, praying for them. Um, they are just utterly fantastic. And I just, I honestly feel so grateful to have come across them. And I could not have done that without you. And I could not put these videos together without you, please. Talk to me about these performances, about these songs, about these men. This has been so much fun. I always feel like I end off my SP19 videos all pumped and then that's it. I go away for a couple of days and then I'm like, oh, now I need to do something else because I'm missing them. That's the feeling that they give me. Um, so help me put something together for next time. Thank you so much for joining me for that reaction. I hope that you enjoyed it. Please do subscribe to my channel for lots more content. Like the video if you liked it, of course. And until I see you next time, take care. Stay safe. Bye.